Hi everybody, my name is Chris from Meeting Town and thank you for joining us today for Junior Times. Now today's topic, we're going to talk about water, right? First of all, we all drink water, that's sort of what water is known for, but we have many other uses. We wash our dishes, we wash our clothes, we take showers, we clean our cars with water, right? And sort of, we're lucky because we can use water for all these extra things. Because there are some people, there are some countries, there are billions of people that don't even have water to drink for their own bodies, for their health, for their thirst. So, water deliveries in thirsty South Africa. They have no water to drink. South African government officials the gov uh, are ordering trucks to deliver water all across the country as El Nino's droughts makes having drinking water a challenge for more than 50 million people there. So what's happening? There is a big storm called El Nino. El Nino is sort of like a, se a seasonal storm caused by very warm waters. And because of that, there is a drought. Droughts are when there's no water, right? So there's no water to drink. There's just no water for anything. So. Um, and getting drinking water to these places is very hard so the government is making many hundreds of trucks go and deliver the water themselves. Delivery is of course carrying something and giving it to somebody, right? El Nino is a weather cycle caused by climate change. As a result, the equatorial Pacific Ocean, sort of the middle part of the uh, earth in the Pacific Ocean becomes very warm and the temperature increase changes the weather all around the world. It has caused floods in, Af in the African countries of Somalia and Kenya while robbing the southernmost portion of the continent with water to meet its residents daily needs. So what's happening here is in some parts of Africa there's too much water, there's floods, right? However, in the southern parts of Africa there are droughts it's hard to get water, right? So there's a lot of problems. There's too much water, there's a problem. Too little water, there's a problem. It's because of El Nino. In addition to a shortage of drinking water for people, shortage means we don't have enough. We lack it and we need more of it. The food supply is also suffering. Farmers have not been able to plant crops and livestock owners have not been able to raise animals such as cattle. So if we have no water, there's many problems that come with it. We can't give the animals water. We can't uh, give our plants water. Um, so this is the major problems that are happening. So volunteers, workers that you know, don't work for money, are driving water to even the most remote, far away, distant towns in South Africa. When they arrive, thousands of people run towards them to immediately drink the bottles of water the trucks are carrying. Still, there have been fights among residents or people for water in many towns. People are waiting in lines all day and night for water. So when they're in lines, does it mean there's a little people or there's a lot of people? Yes, it means there's a lot of people, right? So something that we never even think about. We never think about where's the water, right? But they spend all night and all day just waiting for that one thing. So, to review, we have three key questions here. A, what are South African government officials doing? South African government officials are ordering trucks to blank water all across the country. So, trucks like this, what are they carrying? Carrying water, right? Can we just leave the water here? Do we tell the people to come to us? No, we have to bring this water to the different people, right? And when we are transporting or carrying something to somebody or somewhere, we say that is deliver. I'm sure some of you may have chicken delivered to your house or pizza delivered to your house. That's when they bring it to you, right? So B, what is the result of El Nino. Because of El Nino, what happens in the end? The equatorial Pacific Ocean becomes very warm and the blank increase 
changes the weather all around us. So when it becomes, when the ocean gets very warm, something will increase. What is going up? Well, it's getting hotter, right? And when something gets hot or cold, a certain number changes, right? Uh, at 100 degrees, water will boil. At zero degrees, water will freeze, right? And this number from zero to 100 or whatever, we call that a temperature. So in most of the world, we use Celsius, uh, but in America and some other countries, we use Fahrenheit. C, what are volunteers in South Africa doing? Volunteers are driving water, or driving water to even the most blank towns in South Africa. So many people forget that how big Africa really is. And there are some places that are so far away it's really hard to go there. We can't have regular trucks going and back. The roads aren't great. It's kind of dangerous. There are no lights. So these far away distant places, we say those are remote places. For example, when we are at home, we're watching TV, we use the remote control. That's because we can control the TV from remotely, meaning from very far away, we can control it. So that's why we call it a remote or far away control. All right, so we have three key terms here. First one, A, El Nino is a weather blank caused by climate change. So El Nino, it, it has a schedule to it. Every three or four years, it comes around again, right? Sort of like the sun, we, today will, the sun will come and tomorrow it will come again, sort of in a circle. And it's a similar sounding word to circle. It is called a cycle. So we can say that the life cycle of a frog is from the egg to the tadpole to the frog and then it goes around again, right? Um, in this case, the cycle means every three years the storm happens and the next three years it will happen again, right? We can sort of uh, guess or know when the schedule is, all right? B, in addition to a blank of drinking water for people, the food supply is also suffering. So the problem here is that there is no more drinking water. Uh, we need this much, there is only this much, right? So we don't have enough, there, we're lacking water. So another way to say that is we have a shortage of drinking water. So for example, in America, we don't have many nurses. There is a shortage of nurses in America. So for the hospitals, we need this many nurses, but there's a shortage of nurses right now. So we only have this many. We need this much more. C, people are waiting blank all night, all day for water. So again, there's thousands of people that are waiting for this water. And how do they know that this person is first? Who's next? Who's uh, first? Who's last? And a fair way to decide that is to be in a single line. They wait in lines all day and all night for water. So this is telling us two things, really. One is there's a lot of people and two, that you know they're willing to wait all night and all day for this you know important water so to review here cycle is something that sort of goes around and repeats itself in a pattern shortage is when we don't have a lot of something we need this much but we only have this much that's a shortage in lines of course you have experience waiting in lines maybe at Lotte world or when you're you know, going to class to the library, you have to wait in line to sort of, you know, be safe and fair. All right. So next time you guys are, you know, doing anything other than drinking water, let's say you're brushing your teeth or washing your hands, really try to think how important this thing in this wet and cold thing in your hand really is. Because there are people that really do wait all night and all day. This is a fact. All right. So thank you for joining us today for Junior Times. My name's Chris from Meeting Town. I'll see you next time.